So these days at my house, we hear the song, The Wheels on the Bus, a lot. And I mean a lot. My daughter has probably about five different toys that all sing the Wheels on the Bus song. And she can get them all playing at the same time. And so what I thought I'd do for today in honor of my daughter's birthday would be to create a visual representation of the Wheels on the Bus using GlowScript. So of course the first thing we need is a bus. Uh, we're going to create this bus using a box. The bus is going to start out over to the left and the bus is going to move forward with a speed of 0.05. It's not a very fast moving bus in this animation. So when I hit Control 2, the Euler Cromer method causes this bus to steadily march along. So the bus is moving to the right. I can rotate the view. I turned on a make trail just so that you can see what direction the bus is moving. Now, of course, the song is not just about the bus. The song is about the wheels on the bus. And so we've got a few wheels set up here. Let me uncomment those. We're gonna create these wheels using vPython's cylinder function. And basically we're gonna put these uh, on the bottom of the bus. So you can see here on the Y component, each of them is gonna be at the bottom of the bus. And then we've got them uh, in the front of the bus, in the back of the bus, and also in the uh, to either side of the bus, so on the left side and the right side of the bus. And now that I have the wheels added, I need to also move the wheels on the bus. And so here we're moving the bus forward. So we need to move the wheels forward. And so let's hit Control-2 to watch our wheels move with the bus. There they go. Now, of course, the wheels on the bus don't just move forward. Oh no, as anyone will tell you, these wheels on the bus go round and round. And in order to demonstrate that, we're gonna create some dots on these wheels on the bus, some markers. It's not really part of the song, but this will help us see the wheels on the bus go round and round. And so here we've got uh, these dots basically are going to move forward along with the wheels. So these dots are moving forward at the same rate as the wheels but then we're gonna rotate them about the center of the wheel using a little rotation function here. And so we're gonna make the new X uh, just be rotated around by this amount theta, make the new Y rotated around by this amount theta, and then that'll be the new point we put the uh, wheels on the bus at, or excuse me, the wheel dots on the wheels on the bus. And so I need to actually create these, so let's uncomment this part, and we'll hit a control two. And so now we can watch the wheels on the bus going round and round because we have these points going round and round. And so because the, the points on the wheels on the bus are going round and round and moving forward, they trace out one of my favorite shapes, the cycloid. So one of the ways you can get a cycloid is to just have the dots on the wheel going round and round while the wheel moves forward and that traces out these lovely cycloids. So when we sing the wheels on the bus go round and round, we're singing a song about cycloids. Isn't that wonderful? But of course, the wheels on the bus are not the only things moving on the bus. There's also the windows on the bus going open and shut. And so here we're creating a few windows. So we've got one, two, three, four, five, six windows on the bus, three on the left side, three on the right side. And these windows are gonna go up and down uh, between a maximum Y and a minimum Y. And the way we're gonna work that out down here in our animation loop, first we have to move the windows on the bus forward so that the windows on the bus can keep up with the bus itself. So here we're moving them forward. And then here we're adjusting their Y position. So I imagine that the windows on the bus go open and shut at a pretty constant speed. When, when humans push things up and down, we tend to push them up and down at a pretty consistent speed. So we're gonna give these things a constant speed in the Y direction. That speed will turn around between positive and negative depending on whether we've reached the maximum or minimum Y for the windows on the bus. And so when we run this, We've got, again, the wheels on the bus going round and round, and the windows on the bus going up and down. Well, going open and shut. Up and down is the people on the bus. So these are going open and shut, and they're moving at a pretty constant velocity going up and down. The only thing that's changing is whether they're going up or down. And so they create this little sawtooth function with their make trail over here, which is pretty cool. So then we come back here, and the windows on the bus are not the only things moving on the bus. The the next thing that's gonna move on the bus is the people on the bus. And the people on the bus also go up and down, which is why we sing open and shut for the windows usually. Although what one of the toys sings, the windows on the bus go side to side, or is that the doors? 
I guess that's the doors. Either way, I guess it depends on the windows, how the windows are installed on the bus, but I digress. There are lots of variations to this song, as you can tell, and each one of these toys in our house sings a different variation. But they all get the people on the bus going up and down. And the people on the bus need a more gentle ride up and down, so we're gonna have them move up with up and down with a sign function. So let's go back up here, let's add in our people on the bus. So here we've got our list of people on the bus. And let's have three people on the bus. We're gonna start them out at different uh, uh, positions, basically. And now we can watch the people on the bus go up and down. So here we've got the people on the bus going up and down, up and down, up and down. While the windows on the bus go open and shut, open and shut, open and shut. And you can see the difference between the sawtooth function up here of the windows on the bus going open and shut, compared with the sign function of the people on the bus going up and down, compared with the cycloid of the wheels on the bus going round and round. And that's pretty cool. That is one, two, three verses of wheels on the bus. Let's finish with one more verse. This is my personal favorite to sing and my personal favorite to animate. This is the wipers on the bus. The wipers on the bus go swish, swish, swish. So we start out with a couple of wipers on the bus. They're gonna be located at the front of the bus, right on the windshield, which I guess I didn't really add a windshield, but the windshield's not moving up and down or open and shut or whatever. So we'll just, we just we'll won't include that. Um, and we're gonna have these things rotate and uh, we're gonna put some dots on the end of the wipers. So we've got the wipers on the bus and we've got the dots on the end of the wipers on the bus to trace out how the wipers go swish, swish, swish. And so when we come down here, we'll uncomment our last little part. So we've got the wipers on the bus. And so the wipers are gonna rotate by, uh, by this angle, uh, d theta. And basically we're going to uh, keep track of this theta so that we can have the wipers turn back around so that they're not spinning around so that they go swish, 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 swish. And then we move the wipers forward because the wipers gotta stay at the front of the bus. And then here's the fun part is we are uh, changing the dots position. So these things in just a second are gonna go swish, swish, swish. So these are the only things on the bus moving in the Z direction. This is gonna make my favorite animation on the entire thing. Here we've got the wheels on the bus going round and round. Here we've got the people on the bus going up and down, the windows on the bus going open and shut. And here's the wipers on the bus going swish, swish, swish in three dimensions because the bus is moving them in the X direction and the wipers are going swish, swish, swish in the Y and the Z directions, which is pretty cool. So there you have it. The wheels on the bus as understood by a physicist. I hope you've enjoyed this video. Happiest of birthdays to my beloved daughter. Thank you so much for watching. I will see you next time. Bye-bye.